Most web designers design for the masses. That means you're just a face in the crowd to them. Most websites, therefore, won't match your specific needs. Fortunately, there is something that we can do about this. It's time to take things back into our own hands and customize the web ourselves. <laughs> Grease Monkey is an add-on for Firefox that allows you to change and edit websites that you are viewing on the web by running local side JavaScripts. What this means to you is that by the use of scripts that other people have made, or if you know how to script, you can use them yourself, you can change the web. That means taking ads away from a certain website, adding functionality, changing the way it looks, or even blending two websites together. All of this can be done with the use of Grease Monkey and much more. Grease Monkey is available mostly for Firefox, but if you do have another browser, there may be a way that you can get it on there. Just refer to today's companion article to learn more about that and to see step-by-step -step instructions for everything in today's video. With that, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use Grease Monkey. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a copy of Grease Monkey from the Mozilla add-ons page. If you need help doing this, check out our second video, Firefox Basics. You know you've installed Grease Monkey correctly when you see the little monkey on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You can click him to turn him off. The grayscale frowning face means the Grease Monkey is not processing any scripts. And when he's in color and happy, that means that he's processing scripts. By right clicking the monkey, you can access the different controls inside of Grease Monkey such as making a new script or managing your existing scripts. Well, right now we don't have any scripts, so let's go and tackle that next. The best place to get your scripts from is userscripts.org. Now this site is loaded with a tremendous amount of useful scripts, so it could be a little daunting at first to try just browsing to find uh, scripts that suit you. So a good way to do it is to go first to a site that you know that you want to edit. For instance, let's go to eBay. While I'm browsing eBay, I noticed that recently they've added some really large animated ads on side of their, their uh, browsing pages. The problem is a lot of times in Firefox that causes it to slow down to a crawl to the point where I can barely browse the site. Now, I don't really think that's very helpful, so I'm going to see if there's any way to, to amend that problem. So once you've found a site that you want to change, so then you may want to type in the name of the site that you were recently just visiting and see if there's any scripts already written for it. Behold, it looks like the users have been busy on this one. There are plenty of scripts to choose from. But there's a lot here, so maybe I'm just going to try and narrow it down a little bit by adding another term to my search. By typing in eBay ad, I found a uh, script that is attached to those keywords that says it will remove most of the ads and iframes from eBay's search results, which is exactly what I was having trouble with. So all I have to do is click that name and then click install this script. Grease Monkey automatically recognizes that this script is for it. So you wait till the screen comes up and press install. Now we can go back to eBay, hit refresh and see what happened. But when you look at that, it took out the things that were bothering my Firefox. You can even use Grease Monkey on userscripts.org itself. For instance, if you type installs, 
into the search box and click on user script search sorting you can install a script that will allow you to sort your search results by which ones are the most popular so for instance another script we might want to look up is maybe some changes we can make to Gmail I use Gmail all the time so it's important to me that it be changed to my liking so let's go back to user scripts and type in Gmail So you can see all the different tags that came up. If I wanted to narrow down my search, I could click one of these. I'm just going to look down here. So because of the installation that I had just made on allowing me to sort, I can sort by installs now. And you can see automatically which ones are the most popular for Gmail. So this adds all kinds of things. This adds a delete button to the interface. I can add a calendar feed. Um, or Gmail Super Clean, which is a whole new interface. Let's go ahead and try that. This apparently will change the entire look of uh, Gmail for me. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so I've installed it. Let's go back to Gmail and refresh and see what happened. But what do you know? Looks pretty slick. So why stop there? Let's try increasing the functionality of Gmail too. Now this will work with most sites. I'm just using Gmail as an example. Here's a Gmail mark red button. That sounds pretty good because I'm always using that drop down menu to uh, mark my email as red and it really can get a little annoying. So this is supposed to add a button. Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Back, refresh. Hey, pretty nice. Now I've got a mark red button. So that means I can check a box and actually hit that button to uh, change it from being red or unread. That's pretty slick. I like that.